Back here at Coast BMW in London, we continue on the Ram Report with head coach Jim McElwain, but a special guest on set as we bring in 2012 London Olympics bronze medalist in the long jump, Janae Deloach, and of course, a former CSU Ram. Janae, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Hey, congratulations. Give us an idea of that uh, Olympic experience. Um, it was amazing. Uh, from the first moment I walked into the Olympic Stadium for the opening ceremonies, um, you know, I complained a little bit about uh, our uniforms and my feet were hurting <laughs> and everything. But the moment I got in there and saw the, the torch being lit, it was kind of like, here's my moment. I'm finally here. Yeah. I mean, it was absolutely amazing to, to see all the athletes, all of our jaws were dropped. You know, all of us were kind of in the moment realizing we have worked so hard. We have finally made it. Now it's time for competition. Yeah, you go in the competition, you end up taking the bronze. What was it like to stand there in front of 80,000 people on the medal podium? Uh, it was amazing. Um, you know, I, I, I got that bronze medal by just one centimeter, and yeah. that was all it took to get that, you know, just to stand <laughs> up there. But it was even more amazing because I was uh, allowed to hear my national anthem. You know, my fellow teammate Brittany Reese was uh, the gold medalist, yeah. so it was kind of like I was up there on the, you know, bronze medal podium thinking I won. You know, I basically felt like I'm a winner. I won. Yeah. I got to hear my anthem. It's not, you don't do that very often. And Jim, I know I, to, to have a Colorado State uh, alum up there with on the biggest stage in the world. Well, it's, you know, it just, it goes and, and it runs. It shows the quality of what is Colorado State. And, you know, when she was representing our country, she was not only, as I tell our guys, you're not only representing your family, your community, but obviously the school as well. And, and it just shows you the type and, and the quality of, of, of student athletes that we have here at Colorado State. Now, you, uh, you were an Army brat, and you end up coming from Alaska to Colorado. How do you come from Alaska to Colorado State University? It, it was a good choice, obviously. Yeah, um, you know, it was basically recruiting. You know, they got out there, they saw, you know, some of my jumps, and it wasn't the best, you know, but they saw potential and uh, went on a recruiting trip, loved the team camaraderie, loved the coaches, and that was a done deal for me and I, I decided to come to CSU I signed <laughs> you know Jim they used to call me an army brat they just would leave out the army part <laughs> That's of it you know exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> but to, to, to get an athlete of your caliber to see you go from you know kind of an under recruited athlete maybe and not on the big stage to to working your way up to an Olympic gold man that's what it's all about it's about coming to Colorado State and then continuing to improve and become the best you possibly can be, right? Right, and, and, and really that's part of recruiting. And, and like we talk about, you know, you never know where they come from. You know, I'm from Montana, so I know what it's like kind of being from Alaska, right? <laughs> it's not a hotbed of recruiting. <laughs> Yet the importance is, is that you go and, and you evaluate that skill level. And obviously quality student and, and look, look it, this is the way it should be. Yeah, you uh, I know have a great love for Colorado State and Fort Collins, and you know they had you a, a big send off before the Olympics. I know that was really really special. Oh, it was. Um, just to have the support of the Fort Collins in general, CSU is amazing. It makes you feel like you can do anything with um, you know a whole town behind you and a whole school behind you. So just to have that little bit of, of luck before going into the games was amazing for me. Yeah, and then you were the Grand Marshal of the homecoming parade a yes. couple of weeks ago. What was that like? That was, that was really nice, you know. Um, people, they, don't, they don't let just anybody do that now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that was really nice because, you know, it was kind of um, CSU bringing me back home again, you know. They, they reached out to me, you know, and asked if I would be, and I was more than, more than happy. I was honored. That was, a, you know, a really big, big, big thing for me, and I was, I was happy to do it. And to be out there in that car, sitting on the, you know, waving at everyone, was, it was amazing. It was nice. Uh, you just got married. <laughs> Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, now you're kind of done with competition, and, and it's time to take a break. Kind of like Jim. Jim's taking a break now, too, with the bye week. <laughs> you, uh, you're not going to work out at all for an extended period of time, huh? Yes. Um, because, you know, we're top of the world, you know, athletes, you know, we push our bodies to its absolute extremes. And to compete from basically April till middle of September, and your body really, you know, takes a beating. So what you do is you, you take time off because your body needs to recover. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm, I'm recovering with my feet on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. It's the way I like to do it. And, and, and athletes need recovery time, that's right, exactly. Jim? Yeah, and, and that's part of the important thing. And it doesn't matter what sport it is. Your, your training regiment, although it is a year-round, part of the year-round is making sure that you're, you, you let your body get back. Yeah, no question. 
Rio de Janeiro coming up in four years. You're going to make another run at it, aren't you? I certainly am. As long as I am healthy, which is, you know, an athlete's number one goal is to stay healthy. Yeah. And as long as I am competitive, I will certainly be going out for the, you know, Rio de Janeiro Olympics. So, so I mean, so that's four years out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a long ways away. It is. So uh, how do you even begin to start preparation? I mean, obviously there's other meets mixed mm -hmm. in there before the, the Olympics. Yes, um, you know, everyone just thinks about the Olympics as far as track and field goes, but you know, next year is a world championship year, so I'm gonna take it one year at a time. Um, my goal is, is exactly as it was this year, is to be the best. Therefore, I will go out and give it 100% and see if I can win a gold medal at a world championship this time. Yep, and then maybe extend that to, to Rio and yep, get a gold to, to hang up next to that bronze, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, hey Janae, congratulations on not only an Olympic medal, but uh, getting married and, and best of luck coming Thank up in the you. future. Thank you very much. Okay, that's Janae Deloge, bronze medalist in the long jump at the 2012 Olympics and again, a CSU grad. All right, we're going to let Janae go and Coach Jim McElwain go. Thank you, Jim. And yeah. We'll be back, talk some Ram Volleyball coming up next here on the Ram Report.